Oh, well, I thought you retired last year. I said, where well, if you playing? You're playing down here. And I said, nah, it's too far. As a kid, it was rugby union, but my uh, mind had changed and the love for the game switched over to rugby league, so then wanted to be uh, a green machine. I gave up my position as a captain coach of the Queanbeyan Blues and decided to go 100% into politics. I wanted to put all my energy into that. I wanted to get in there to make a difference and to change the, the narrative of what politicians are like. You know, a lot of people do talk about the dirty tactics in politics and the levels that they go to to try and upset you as a candidate, I guess. I didn't think it would get to the levels that it did. Involving family, unfortunately, I uh, had to stand down. Through that time, I was talking to Adrian a fair bit. Adrian's one that I reflect with, and he goes, well, come down and play for Eden. Terry coming down to the Eden Tigers. I had a big part to play in that. Guilty as charged. I tried to say to Terry, not only come down here for footy, I mean, it's a beautiful spot, it's really calming. In the town, it just gets right behind you. As soon as you come down and pull on the red and white, they back you as one of their own. Then the more I thought of it, talking to Perts, how much he loves this place and how great the club is, I thought I'd give it a crack and come down and help him out and play alongside him for one last chance. I think it's been a great decision coming down and helping the club out. Eden Tigers since 2000. We've won seven premierships over that time. Adrian's been here for two years now. The numbers down at training went through the roof when Adrian first came here, and then to have Campo come on board this year, it, it stepped things up again, like created a lot of interest. It was massive. If I'm going to recruit a player, I know he is my mate, but you want someone to come to a footy club who's a good person, first and foremost. And I think as a person, that's what drew me to him as a friend. That just goes out on the footy field. He's a great leader on the field. I mean, he's a quality player. He's played for New South Wales and Australia. Um, I've absolutely loved my time down here. It's been a pretty special ride, to be honest, and it's been calming. Just finishing up with politics and now coming down to such a beautiful coastal town like this has definitely helped for me mentally and to, to get through the tough time. And so I come down here on the weekends. So I stay with Adrian. We take his dogs down to the beach, you know, Daisy and Duke. I think it's really important that some ex-guys come back to the country. I mean, this is where we all started. But at some point, you started at a junior level, at community level, and someone like Campo just loves giving his time to people. We get to make a difference as a professional athlete, so I decided to set up the Terry Campisi Foundation with a lovely lady, Pamela Slocum, and it's progressed over time, and our big focus at the moment is our youth mentoring program, and the last five years, we've seen the difference it makes, and you know, very passionate about it. The future for Terry Campisi, it changes every day, but I would absolutely love the charity to go full time so we can make a bigger difference across uh, more communities. Who knows with sport? You can never say never, I always say it's my last year. If we win a competition, I'll get to lift that trophy with Perth. It'll be, you know, something that we'll remember forever. We'll make a community like Eden very happy. It's just about, yeah, the happiness that sport brings.